I'm out here on the west coast of New Zealand to visit my friend Chris, who grew up two days walk south of the nearest road. Hiked a couple of hours last night. It poured all day yesterday. Today, we're hopefully gonna make it to Gorge River just after it gets dark. Country New Zealand. Just woke up in a super cute tiny little farmer's cottage and I'm hiking out to Gorge River on the west coast of New Zealand to stay with a friend for a week. I'm crossing the first wet cold creek of the morning. Out that the water is like two degrees above freezing. <laughs> Probably true. Just clearing the driveway, you know, going at the tree with a wood saw machete thing. Thanks, it's raining on me. Looks a tad yellow. No, I'm sure it's fine. This is the point where Tanzan falls in. It's 10 minutes from here to the hut and in the hut I've got a can of curry. It's going to be very cold curry but that's going to be our lunch. Tamsin right now is very very hungry and is looking forward to this curry quite a lot. We're debating who's going to put it under our shirt to warm it up. We have lunch. Here's our korma mildly spiced and creamy coconut. I could not be more happy to see this tin of freezing cold korma. Oh, we have also some freezing cold fruit, fruit salad, salad and syrup. <laughs> so the track along here has been washed away by the river. So now we have to jump our way through a swamp. A swamp. This Tams has already fallen, fallen in once. But if we keep it running, maybe she'll make that twice. Okay, so it seems the track's washed away just here. What do you mean it's washed away? We're gonna go a bit further down and see if we can find a better place to cross. Okay, so we've made it through the swamp. Now we just have to cross the Hope River three times. This is round one. <laughs> it hasn't warmed up yet. Winter in New Zealand is just rude. We're both wondering why we came back to winter in New Zealand, yeah. And we're about to get into the deepest part of all. Pretty far cry from, oh my god. <laughs> it actually burns. And that's round one, <laughs> complete. We found deer tracks. Second river, it didn't get any warmer. Just so you know, it's still breezy. made it out to the coast and this is about as close as you'll get to wild untouched New Zealand. It's really cool. I'm wearing two hats. My nose 
Nam. Fun so, stop for a break to have some lunch. But one of the things the West Coast of New Zealand is famous for is sand flies, which are kind of like mosquitoes, except they look like flies. This is Tamsin's favourite part of the day. So we just did a, uh, a stop take. We have bread, two crackers, a tin of curry, and we're now definitely going to make it to Gorge River tonight because if we don't, we're out of food. <laughs> Sandflies got too much, so we decided to keep hiking. And I just asked Chris how far we have to go. It's about 16 kilometers. It's a long way, but you know. So as Tamsin was saying, I grew up here until I was 17. Then I went out to school for a year and then since then I've pretty much been traveling the world going to as many places as possible. As a three and a half year old we were too heavy to be carried by mum and dad so we had to get out and walk. So it seems like a strange place to be brought up but my parents wanted to live somewhere away from TV and away from computers, internet and that sort of thing and I feel I'm one of the luckiest people alive. Okay, so we're at the top of a bluff. It was really nice we got off the beach for a little bit. And now we've just climbed a little hill before we have to go back to the beach. Uh, but the sun's probably going to set in about half an hour. And we have nine kilometers left to hike. So uh, probably a solid Three hours of hiking left. Uh, you can see the view behind me, it's pretty sweet, but yeah, got quite a long way to go. Um, I'm knackered, I'm so, so tired, but totally worth it. Having fun? Yeah. Toast is a banana. I know, I think it was a banana. Oh <laughs> no. So, we're on the home straight, if you can say that, when you have about eight kilometers to go. And we're just hiking down this little creek to head back out to the coast. I have to say, the people who live out here are hardcore. This hike is not a walk in the park. When I was young, it used to take us about four to five days to walk all the way from Gorge River out to the road. Um, first night we'd camp in a tent, second night we'd stay in a house, third night we would stay in another like a little hut, and then fourth or fifth night we'd actually get out to the road. When we got to the road we didn't actually have a car, so we would have to hope that there was going to be someone else there that we could hitchhike with for the next 30 kilometers out to the main sealed road itself. Salad. This is our last food. So we've been walking since 8.30 this morning and it's now 6.41. We have about one more hour to go. So we made it, finally. It's like 8 o'clock at night, 44 k's in one day, but it was awesome. So we've got a little boat and we're now going to cross Gorge River and the house is on the other side. I need to do a behind the scenes video. This is what really happens when you vlog. <laughs> 